Okay, so let us go with the discussion of power screws. So, power screws. Yung mga screw na ginagamit mo. Diba, nakagamit na ba kayo nun sa mga cars? E eh, binibigay sa'yo, jack, screw jack. Diba? Hindi siya nagbibigay nung hydraulic jack. Commonly, yung screw jack na yun, scissor lift ang tawag dun. Pag ganun, pa cross. So, scissor lift. Pag ganun yung jack niya. Ito yung ulo nung jack. Okay? Tapos pag ganun siya. Okay? Andito yung screw sa gitna. Sorry. Andiyan. Nakatayo sa diyan. Dito. May screw ka dito sa gitna. So, nandito yung screw. Sorry sa drawing ko ha. Visualize lang natin. So, habang ito, iniikot mo. Okay? Iniikot mo yung screw niyan. Ano nangyayari? Nililift niya yung jack mo pataas. And then, yung unfasten mo, ililift down niya yung jack. So, ganun po yung common example ng power screws. So, what is a power screw? It is a machine member which moves machine parts against resisting forces. For instance, in a screw-operated tensile testing machine, a jack, nga, a press, or a lead screw of a lathe. So, ito yung screw na tinatawag dyan. So, yung pitch, yan yung layo from thread to thread. Okay? Yung lead is the uh, yung number ng threads okay, na meron siya. So, yung pitch, it is commonly measured as threads per inch, TPI, kapag pin, pitch. So, yung mga screws mo, meron dyang 30% yung power to 70% power kapag ordinary screws. And then, pag ball screws, 90% of the power is given. So, there are different forms of threads for power screws. Sa late machine, ang gamit natin doon ay seller's square thread. Yung sa lead screw niya. Yung Acme threads naman sa locking mechanism ng mga ano. Nung mga tawag dito. Yung chuck niya. And then buttress thread. Ito, hindi ko na alam kung saan to galing. And commonly, iba-iba yung pitches nito. Depende. Kapag sinabing Acme and seller's or square thread. Ngayon, sinasabi naman sa problem if they are square thread and acme thread. Iba-iba po yung pitch angle niyan. Iba-iba din po yung length of the pitch. Okay? Now, let us go to the power of the screw. So, ito, more on broad na. And then, specific na lang pala yung ating discussion dito. So, the efficiency ng screw, okay, is equal to PO over PI or the output power of the screw. Yan ah. The efficiency of the screw. Yung output power niya, divided by yung P input, input power. So, ito, weight times velocity or the weight that the, that is the weight that the screw is lifting. And then, kung gano'n niya kabilis inililift, divided by the input power coming from a motor or anybody that gives it power in order for it to lift. And commonly, pwede rin itong gawa ng isa pang formula. So, the uh, efficiency of that screw is equal to tangent alpha over tangent alpha plus okay, plus yung anong tawag dito? Friction angle to. Friction angle plus FC. Yun sa friction, FC. Mamaya, discuss ko sa inyo yan. DC, diameter ng collar. Friction at the collar. <coughs> Frictional coefficient at the, at the collar. Plus yung DC, diameter dun sa collar. And then, the mean diameter ng screw. Okay? Yun yung kanilang pag uh, papangalan to determine. Now, for the linear velocity of the screw that is given by V times the rotating Uh, rotate, uh, rotational speed times the linear distance or the lead na meron ka. Ilang, ilang ano, ilang threads ang meron dyan. So, going to your lead, punta ka rito. Yung lead mo, that could be, kapag sinabing single thread, yung lead mo is equal to one pitch. Pag double thread, yung lead mo is equal to two pitches. Yung triple thread, that is equal to three pitches and so and so. So, for the lead anger or alpha, Alpha is the lead angle that is equal to arctan 
Huwag nyo kalimutan to kasi madalas lumalabas ang power screws kapag dating ng board exam. Multiplied to arctan. Arctan ng ano? Yung ratio ng lead divided by pi times dm. Ano yung dm dyan? That is the mean diameter of that. The mean diameter of the screw. Hi. Now, what is the, uh, how can you get the outer diameter? Hindi na to linear velocity. Dapat to outer diameter or outside diameter. That is DO plus or DO equal to DI plus L over 2. Kaya lang, commonly, itong L over 2 is P over 2. Okay? Ang general formula dyan is D1 or DI plus pitch over 2. Ngayon, itong pitch na to, nakadepende yan kung if this is square thread or acme. Ito rin, itong theta f is friction angle. Yan. So, in order for you to get the torque now, the torque that is required to overcome the collar friction, that is TC, torque on the collar, that is FC, coefficient of friction at the collar, multiplied to the weight that is carried by your screw, multiplied to the diameter of the collar, divided by 2. It is also equal, yung DC mo kasi dito, is equal to FC, W, yung DC is equal to Rho plus Re. Rho Re over 2. Now, dalawa yan. If raising load, okay, tandaan nyo, this is plus, this is minus. Okay? If lowering yung load, this is negative, this is positive. Kapag lowering, nauna yung negative. Kapag raising, nauna yung positive. Okay? Mamaya, sabihin ko sa inyo yan. Ito. Remember this one. Yung B mo dito, okay, yung multiplier mo, sa B, 1 kapag square thread, 0.968 kapag acme. Ito, common, hindi naman binibigay ito if trapezoidal and American. Ito lang dalawa ang dapat mong tandaan. Ngayon, cosine theta, ano ba yung cosine theta dyan? Ayan po yung friction angle. Okay? Friction angle yan. Now, the total torque, yung collar torque, and then the thread friction. Okay? Now, dito, inano kasi nila, uh, in, i, uh, isinamari ko na. Okay? Going back. In order to overcome the collar friction, yung torque that is needed there is equal to Fc. Wait lang ha. Fc, coefficient of friction at the collar, the weight that is carried by your collar, plus RMC. What is RMC there? RMC, Dalawa yan, kaso niyan. Meron kang uniform pressure. If the screw is new, hindi pa loose thread, uniform where if the screw is old. Or gamit na, gastado na. This is new. Yung RMO, medyo mahaba talaga yan. Pwede rin naman, this is DM over 2. So, RM, RM, equal naman yan dito. Okay? Two-third multiplied to ROC on the inside nung collar, cube minus RI, inside, inside radius on the collar, cube, divided by ROC minus, square yan ha, minus RIC squared. Kapag naman diameter, cube mo lang. Then, multiply mo ng one-third. Now, mas madaling tandaan kapag uniform wear, just get the mean of them. Okay? Mean itong dalawa, mean itong dalawa. Okay? How about the thread? Ngayon, yung thread torque, that is equal to the coefficient of friction at the thread, the weight that is carried by the thread, and then yung RM, T ng thread. Ngayon, dito, pareho lang yan. Babaguin mo na lang yun sa thread. Now, for the total thread, ah, uh, Ah, total thread. The thread torque, pwede ring equal yan dito. Weight times the mean diameter of the threads ng screw divided by 2. Multiplied to cosine theta, where theta is the thread angle, and then tangent alpha, alpha is the lead angle, plus minus. Plus if raising the load, minus if lowering the road, load. Ft is the thread friction, Divided by cosine theta minus if, that is, ano, minus if raising the load 
and positive if lowering the load. Okay, ito na yun. Thread torque, DM is screw mean diameter, weight, the P or uh, theta kasi dapat to, theta is the thread angle, the lead angle, and then the friction angle. Dito papasok sa thread angle, depende yan. Kapag sinabing, pag sinabing ano, pag sinabing square, the thread angle is 0 degrees. Pag sinabing acme, that is 14.5. Oh, ito yung mga dapat yung tandaan. Na for the lead angle, yung binigay ko na kanina. So, for the total torque, total mo lang yung dalawa, yung sa thread and sa collar. Yung power is Tn over factor. The efficiency is given by the power output divided by power input. Saan po makukuha itong weight? Multiply to the velocity. That is the weight that is raised or lowered by your, uh, by your uh, screw. And then the velocity that is raised. So, for the working strength of packed bolts, okay, that is the working strength, ha? Working strength, ang lalabas dyan, ST, okay? ST multiplied to 0.55 D squared minus 0.25 D. Sir, anong lalabas dito in pounds? Dito, anong lalabas dyan? Okay? That is pound tightly. Pag sinabing pack tightly. Yan yung keyword dyan. Ito yung keyword. Pack tightly. This is in pounds. This is in PSI ata to. Ayan. PSI. Tapos di. Empirical to. Im empirical. Empirical pala. Empirical. Sorry na. Syunga. Empirical formula. Empirical formula yan. Pound force, PSI, inch per inch. Ayan. Now, meron naman tayo dito the force per uh, bolt. The force on the bolt. The force total that is carried for bolts naman. The force total for bolts, that is, yung force per bolt, divided by, uh, multiplied to number of bolts. Ayan. Pumunta na tayo sa bolts eh. Power screws and bolts. Now, for the, uh, ito naman, given by the, kay valance, this is given by valance, for the force on each bolt, this is given by C, A, S. A, S is the, ano, ano ba yun? Area ata yun. Parang, parang. So, let me, ano, let me, let me remember yung AS na yan. So, AS is the... Masa, balikan ko yan mamaya. Balikan ko yan. So, each volt raised to 1.418. Depende yan kung anong uri ng volt. If it is made out of carbon, bronze, and alloy. And then, for the mean diameter. Okay, mean diameter naman ng ating screw. In order for it to get the mean diameter, that is equal to DO minus... P or the pitch divided by 2. Yung pitch mo nakadepende po yan. If square thread or if that is square thread or what? Square thread, V thread, or Acme threads. Common lang ginagamit dito. 7 over 16. Yan na yun. Pag hindi nyo makuha yung sagot. For the velocity, that is the linear uh, distance multiplied to the rotational speed. Okay na yun. Thread angle. Okay, diniscuss ko na kanina. Ito yung sinasabi ko. Pag seller screw thread, P over 8, okay, nakadepende dito yung pitch. Okay. Pag sinabing double thread. Ngayon, ito. Ito ang tinatawag dyan. Seller screw. Okay. Yung H niya dito, P. 7 over 16. Dito, lalagay mo sa dulo. Hindi pala dyan. Lalagay mo dito sa dulo. 7 over 16. Okay. Close to 1 half. Yun lang naman tatandaan nyo. Ayan, ito na. Ito na yung sinasabi ko kay balance. S is equal to yung strength, tensile stress on the bolt, that is CA. Lakihan natin. Ayan. CA raised to 0.418 kapag S, that is empirical again. And then F is equal to, ito strength, ito force. Okay, force that is carried each bolt. C multiplied to A raised 
raised to 1.418. So, ang nagkaiba lang dyan is yung 1. Now, for first naman, that is yung strength is equal to yield stress divided by 6 multiplied to the A. A is uh, parang area ata yan. Hindi ako nagkakamali. Okay. Hindi ko na maalala eh. So, F is equal to SY over 6. Pero I'll get back to that if um, pumasok siya sa calculation. Okay, SY is always the yield strength of your material. Now, dito, kapag carbon steel, <coughs> yung C is 5,000, 10,000 pag bronze, and then 15,000 if alloy. So, ito naman, working strength of the bolt from machinery sandbook. Ito yung diniscuss ko kanina. Now, for set screws naman, for the power of the set screw, ito madalas itong tinatanong. Power is equal to DN, D. Ano ba yung D dito? That is the diameter of the, uh, min diameter ata to. And then N is the uh, speed of uh, turning. And then D is the small diameter. Okay. Small diameter ng screw. Raised to 2.3 divided by P. Ano, ano ang ano dito? Ano ang... Uh, Ano ang tawag dito? Ang unit, that is HP per set screw. Now, for the number of the set screw, yung total power divided by single set screw power. Okay? Ito na yun. Yung diniscuss ko kanina. So, I'll give the equation to you after the discussion. Okay? Madalas nung tinatanong sa board exam. So, let us solve the problems here. Yan. So, problem number one. Problem number one, what is the frictional horsepower acting on a collar loaded with 100 kilogram weight? So, you have a weight there na 100 kilograms. The collar has an outside diameter of 100. Okay? 100 millimeter. So, meron ka ng DO. Collar. 100 millimeter. And then, internal diameter ng collar, DI ng collar. So, 40 mm. The collar rotates at 1,000 RPM for N and the coefficient of friction between the collar and the pivot surface is 0 0.15. So, this is the friction coefficient of the collar. So, anong inahanap dito? Frictional HP. So, power. Power. Ano ba yung dapat natin dito equation? The working equation for power is T N over factor. Wala ka pong torque. So, sa mga galing yung torque mo, the torque on the collar. Torque on the collar, going back to your equation, okay. The torque on the collar is Fc multiplied to the force that is applied there. Pwede na yung weight. Okay. Multiplied to, ito, yung mean diameter or mean radius. Kaya lang, wala naman sinabi dito if the screw is new or old. Kaya we assume this is new. Pag di sinabi sa problem, okay. Sinabi po sa problem, anong gagawin mo? You assume it as new. Saan mo kuha yan? Nandito yung kanyang formula. Binagay ko dito sa akin. Kaya, weight RMC ng collar. So, ito gamitin ko, yung one-third. Okay? So, you have the collar friction. Collar friction tuloy. Collar torque. So, the collar torque, frictional coefficient multiplied to Fc. ba ito is weight? ba Equal yan sa mass times gravity. So, mg m times g multiplied to rm rmc. So, that is 1 over 3 multiplied to do cube minus di cube Divided by DO squared minus DI squared. Okay. So, pwede natin masolve. Dapat ang magiging unit nito is in Newton millimeter. Okay? So, FC, ano yan? 0 0.15. 0 0.15. Torque on the collar. And then, multiply natin ng mass na 100 kilograms. Multiplied to 9 0.81 ano gusto ko eh 9.81 eh okay meter per second squared 
multiply mo na din dito ng 1 newton. Dito. Uh, newton second squared per kilogram meter. Para makancel to. <clears throat> Then you multiply it with 1 over 3 multiply DO. So, MM na lang ang lalabas dyan kasi MM cubed divided by MM squared is MM. So, 100 tapos 40. 100 raised to cube minus 40 cube divided by 100 squared minus 40 squared. Ang lalabas na unit dito is MM. Dapat to newton millimeter. We cancel all the same units. Kilogram, kilogram, meter, meter, second squared, second squared. Ang lumabas newton millimeter. So, ang torque collar is, collar torque is 0.15 times 100 times 9.81 times uh, 1 over 3 times uh, 100 raised to 3 minus 40 raised to 3 over 100 squared minus 40 squared. The torque now there is equal to ganyan natin dito. So that is <coughs> newton, newton millimeter ha. Polar torque is 5465.57 Newton millimeter. <coughs> That is the torque. In order for you to get the power, gamitin mo na yung formula. The torque there, collar torque, 5465.571429 Newton millimeter multiplied to yung speed niya. That is 1000 RPM. And then the factor. 9549123 Newton millimeter RPM per kilowatt. Ang problema dito, kailangan natin naka-HP. So there is, there are, uh, yung 1 HP mo is equal to 0.746 kilowatt. So cancel all the same units. Newton millimeter, Newton millimeter, RPM, RPM, kilowatt, kilowatt, HP na natira. So, ang gusto ko dito is in HP. Store the value at A. Doon sa torque, parang hindi na tayo mag-input na mahaba. Recall na lang natin. Multiply to 1,000. Divide by 9549. 1, 2, 3. Times 0.746. The answer is ilang HP. The power there is 0.7673 HP. Kaya lang wala sa choices daw. Laging product mo. 0.8 HP. That will be the answer for the power. Next one. A single square thread power screw, single square thread, okay? Single square thread power screw, ibig sabihin ang kanyang lead is ano, uh, single threaded. And then is to raise, raise to yung keyword, a load of 70 kilonewtons. So you have there the load or the force, 70 kilonewtons. <clears throat> screw has a major diameter of ayun, hindi pala min diameter, major diameter DM. 36 mm. Pitch of 36 uh, mm. So, the coefficient of thread friction, so, thread friction, and collar friction are 0.13 nyo sa thread, tapos sa collar naman, 0.1. If the collar mean diameter is 
So, DM C. 90mm. And the screw turns 60rpm. Find the power input to the screw. So, power na naman. Hindi natin alam. Okay? So, yung power mo dito, P input, is equal to the total torque na yan. Multiply to N, divide by factor. Yan. So, sinabi dito, this is a square thread. We can say, therefore, yung thread angle mo there is equal to 0 degrees. Yun. Now, hanapin muna na natin yung individual torque dyan. Okay? The torque on the collar muna tayo. That is equal to Fc, the weight, or the force on the collar. Yung force on the collar, equal lang naman yung sa force dun sa iyong threads. Dm, C, divided by 2. Bakit? Kasi ito, ayan, is equal to, itong dalawang to ah, DMC, that is equal to RM. Okay? Okay na yun. So, thread, collar, uh, collar, ano, collar torque is equal to 0 0.1 multiplied to 7,000 newton, kasi kilo newton yan eh. Multiplied to 90 mm yung mean diameter ng collar. Divided by 2. So, what will be the answer? 7,000 or 3,5. 7,000 times 90 divided by 2. So, that is 3,150. 3,150,000 newton millimeter. I want to store this value into alphabet A. It's a calculator. Shift, store natin sa kay A. Okay. And then, the uh, friction naman. Ay, torque pala. Torque on the, uh, saan to? Torque. The collar and thread. Thread to, ah. <clears throat> thread. That is equal to the force multiplied to dm over 2. Multiply to cosine theta tangent lead alpha plus, kasi raising a load eh, plus 2. Tapos yung fr uh, thread friction divided by cosine theta minus thread friction multiplied to tangent alpha. Ayan. If raising a load, ah, raising a load. Okay? So, meron na ba tayong lead? Wala pa. So, hanapin natin yung lead. Lead angle or tangent alpha equal siya sa L over pi dm. Pero yung dm mo kasi is equal to do minus p over 2. Meron ka ng pitch, meron ang do. Masol mo si dm. Okay? So, masol natin si dm. dm is equal to 36 minus 6 over 2. That is equal to 33 mm. Meron ka ng dm. Pasok mo na dito sa tangent alpha equal to the lead. Yung lead mo or yung lead mo kasi is single thread. Ay, single threaded. Ayan o. Oh. Single, square thread. So, the lead there is equal to pitch. Oh, that is equal to 6 divided by pi over 33. So, ang value ng iyon tangent alpha is 6 divided by 33 pi. Yan. Six. Bale, pwede nating simplify ito. 3 over... Uh, 
3 over 11. Mga 3. Kasi may 3 dito eh. Simplify na lang natin. Oh, pwede na to. Pwede na yan. Equal to. 0.05787452476. That is the lead angle. Okay? A tangent lead angle. Store natin sa IB. Okay? Magamit natin. So, we can now solve yung thread torque. Okay? That is equal to yung force. The force is 7,000. Ay, huwag natin lagyan ng unit. Newton millimeter lang naman ang papasok dyan. That is DM. Ano ba yung DM ko dito? DM. Nasolve ko na yun eh. Yun, 33. Divide by 2. Tapos, cosine 0. Degrees. Yan. Multiplied to yung nakalagay na value ni B. Nakalagay to kay B ha. Para hindi umaaba yung solution. Tapos, plus thread friction. That is uh, 0.13. 0.13 divided by cosine 0 degrees minus 0.13 nung kay B. So, the answer will be 7,000 times 33 divide by 2 tapos cosine 0 ikaw dito alpha b plus 0.13 divide by cosine 0 Alam ko, cosine 0 is 1 eh. Minus 0.13 alpha B. So, the answer there will be, so, equal siya sa Newton millimeter dapat, 21,864.01 Newton millimeter. So, pwede na natin makuha to Ilagay ko itong value nito kay C. Okay. So, that is uh, T total. It's equal to T ng thread plus T ng collar. Okay. This is B. Ay, this is letter C as this is letter A. Shift. Store natin yung value niya kay C. Okay. Alpha A plus alpha C is equal to point zero zero ano zero zero six newton millimeter pasok na yung value niya para makuha yung power so the screw power now is yung a plus b three three 6864.006 newton millimeter multiplied to 60 rpm divided by 9549123 newton millimeter rpm per kilowatt so ang lalabas diyan is in kilowatt talagang mahaba ang solving ayan Lagi ko na yung value kay A. So, alpha A times 60 divided by 9, 9549123. Okay. The answer is, ba't bumaba? Dapat tama siya. Kulang ata ako ng isang zero. Ayun, kulang ako ng isang zero dito. Dapat dito is hindi ganyan ang value. Okay. Kulang ko na isang zero. So, I have here kulang na isang zero. Isang hindi ko nakikita. Yung 7,000 na kulangan ako na isang zero. Okay. And 7,000 times 33. 
281.006. Yan. Store ko yung value ng IC. Okay. Ano yung value ni A? 315. 315.123 plus 218.640.006. The answer is 533. Ayun. That is 533640.006. Dito burayin ko rin. My bad. 533640. Store natin itong value kay A para masolve na natin yung problem number 2. Uh, 60. Recall natin si A. Divide by 9549123. So the value is for power. That is equal to 3.353. Approximately 3.4 kilowatts. Very basic po. Okay, mali lang ako na input sa calculator. So the next problem. Mahaba talaga to. A double thread Acme screw. Double thread, ah. Dalawa. Double thread Acme screw driven by a motor at 400 RPM raises the attached load of 900 kilograms at a speed of 10 meters per minute. So, binigyan ka ng speed. So, 10 meters per minute. The screw has a pitch diameter of ito, ah, screw. Pitch diameter. 36 mm. So, meron kang pitch, 36 mm. Or diameter, major diameter ata to pag ganito. DM yan, DM yan. Binigay niya DM. DM. The coefficient of friction on the threads is 0 0.15. The friction torque on the thrust bearing motor is taken as 20% of the total torque input. Determine the motor power input. So, thread in total is equal to frictional thread frictional thread plus yung 20% kasi yung total torque input nung sa thrust bearing. So, 0.2 nung sa total. Yung sa thread tapos yung sa ano ba yan? The friction torque on the thrust bearing. Ayan, thrust bearing. Dito. Ayan yan. So, yung power natin, input that is equal to total torque multiplied to N divided by factor. Yan. Check. Ano pang binigay dito sa'yo? Meron ang frictional uh, coefficient on the thread. That is 0.15. As meron ang lead, that is twice ng pitch. Double eh, nakalagay, double thread eh. And then, ACME ang binigay sa'yo, o the, the angle is 14.5 degrees. Now, BLN, okay? Mahanap natin si lead. So, F is that one. So, mahanap na natin yung torque muna tayo. Sa torque on the Threads, that is uh, yung force times dm over 2 I, uh, multiply 2 multiply natin kay cosine theta tangent alpha wala pa tayo nyan raising a load ba? raises ayun, raises a load plus yung frictional coefficient divided by cosine theta minus frictional coefficient multiplied to tangent alpha. Okay na. Meron tayong working formula. Hanapin muna natin si tangent alpha. Okay? Ngayon, in order for us to find tangent alpha, dumaan muna tayo dun sa velocity. Di ba ang velocity there is nakalagay 10 meters per minute. 
Oh, that is equal to L or the lead multiplied to N. Yung lead naman kasi is the linear distance or yung inaakit niya dun sa threads. Okay? Mahanap natin si L. L there is uh, equal to 10 meters per minute divided by yung N. Ano yung speed dyan? RPM. 400 RPM. Rev per minute. Ang problema dito na kameter, o gawin nating millimeter, there is a thousand millimeter in every meter. So, cancel natin tong minute, minute, yung rev, wala naman unit yan, yung meter and meter. So, L will be 10 times 1,000 divided by 400. That is 25 millimeters. 25 millimeters. Okay. So, pwede nating masolve yung lead angle. Tangent alpha is equal to L over pi dm. Solve pa ba natin yung dm? Hindi na kasi binigay na siya. So, this is double thread. So, twice nung lead. So, 25 mm. Divided by pi Multiplied to dm, that is given there. I think that is 36. Kung di ako nagkakamali. 36 mm. Dapat wala talagang unit siya. Okay? Napin natin. 50 divided by 36 pi. The answer is 0.44 20970641 Okay, store natin yung value na kay A. Shift store A. Yan. Tawag ko na ha. Next one. Pasok na natin yung value niya dito sa thread. Okay? T nung sa thread. Hindi pala TF to ha. <coughs> TH to dapat. Thread. Since ang binigay sa'yo dyan is weight, 9 kg, gawin mo munang force yan. So, 900 multiplied to 9.81. Wag na natin lagyan ng unit kasi ang lalabas dyan is Newton millimeter lang. Divide by 2. Tapos multiply mo nung dm, that is 36 mm. Ito, Newton na to eh. Tapos ito, Newton millimeter. Yung loob naman, wala ng unit yon. So, that is cosine 14.5 degrees multiplied to yung value na in-store mo kay A plus 0 0.15 divided by cosine 14.5 degrees minus yung in-store mo kay A multiplied to tangent. Yan pala. Multiplied to 0 0.15. So, the answer there will be, uh, so, 900 times 9.81 times 36 divided by 2. And then, cosine. 14.5. Kaya mo na dito, alpha A. Yan. Plus 0.15. Divide by cosine 14.5 minus alpha A. 0.15. Yan. The answer is, <clears throat> yan na yung torque. Torque capacity niya. Na-divide ko ba nun to? 36, 61. Mm -hmm. Mali ata ako dito. Ay. Mm -hmm. 
balik tayo. 900 times 9.81 times 36 divided by 2 times ito muna pala answer natin store ko na lang kay B para hindi nakakalito so dito sa taas ah, recall natin si A ano ba yung kay A Recall A. Ayan. Alpha A cosine 14.5 kasi square thread eh. Ayan, buo. Plus 0.15 divide by okay cosine 14.5 minus 0.15 recall natin si A yan ba't na yun ganun Yan. So, store natin kay C. Okay? Alpha B, alpha C. The answer is, 100 nga, oh. Ganun. So, sa thread, that is, 101, 858, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46, 0.46
divide by 9, 5, 4, 9, 1, 2, 3. Newton, millimeter, RPM, per kilowatt. Ayon yun. So, the power in kilowatt is, store ko na lang ito kay A, para hindi ko na type ulit. Ayan. So, recall natin si A, times 400, divide by, 9, 5, 4, 9, 1, 2, 3. The answer is 5.33 dapat. P is 5.33. Approximately 5.3 kilowatts. That is for problem number 3. How about problem number 4? A single bolt is used to lap joint. So, pinagpatong. Okay? Lap joint two steel bars together. The tensile force on the bars is 20 kilonewtons. Determine the diameter of the bolt required if the allowable shearing stress on it is 69 MPa. So, the shearing stress is equal to force over area lang yan. Okay? Anong hinahanap niya? Diameter of the bolt. Very basic. Okay? Ano ba yung shear area dun sa bolt? Siyempre, the force over pi over 4 d squared. Ito na yung sa bolt. So, reform natin. D is equal to square root nung 4F over SS pi. Mahanap mo na ngayon yung diameter ng bolt. Now, the diameter of the bolt is 4 times 20,000 newtons. Divided by 69 newton per millimeter squared. Tapos pi. So, ang matitira, matitira dyan is millimeter. Okay? The answer will be for the diameter of the bolt, square root ng 4 times 20,000 divided by 69 shift pi. The answer will be 19.21 millimeters. Very basic. Okay. Problem number four. How about problem number five? Isang pasado na lang to konti na lang. So, what is the working strength of a two-inch bolt which is screwed up tightly, tightly in a pack joint? So, yan yung keyword mo. When the allowable working stress is 12,000 PSI. So, the empirical formula, M, P, Okay? Ang naisip nyo, MP, empirical formula. What is the empirical formula? The working strength, T, in pounds dapat to, equal to stress, okay, in uh, PSI to, multiplied to 0 0.55 D squared minus 0 0.25 D. Ito, inches squared, ito, inch lang. Now, pasok na natin yung formula, okay? WT. O di, lagay natin, 12,000. Huwag mo nang lagay yung unit kasi ang lalabas dito is pounds lang eh. Multiply to 0 0.55. Tapos multiply natin yung, ilan yun? 2 inch squared minus 0 0.25 times 2. The answer is okay, 0.55. 4 times 0.55 minus 0.5 kasi 2 times 0.25 is 0.5 times 12,000. That is 20,400 pounds. That is the working strength. 20,400 pounds. Very basic. Okay? That is the working strength of the bolt. Tuck, tightly packed in a joint. Okay. So, ito naman. Mm -hmm. Parang ano to? Uh, flange bolt couplings. So, a manhole cover of an ammonia storage tank is to be held 24 studs. By 24 stud bolts. So, number of the bolts mo is 24. If the pressure inside the storage tank will remain constant at 12 0.5 kg per square cm. So, that is the pressure. 
kilogram per cm squared. And the manhole diameter is, so diameter nito is 508. Diameter, 508 mm. What would be the stress if the load will be proportional carried by the bolt? So, equal lahat ng load, okay? Disregard elastic limit of the material. So, ganito po ang pag-solve nyan. So, the total force on the bolt is equal to force on each bolt multiplied to the number of bolts. Dapat ganito ang gagamitin natin dyan na idea. So, stress. When we are talking about stress, it is the force that is directed to a cross-sectional area. Now, total force ang pinag-uusapan natin dito kasi total strength. Okay? Total stress. Ano ba yung na-experience ng buo? Ito. Yung constant pressure inside the tank. Okay? So, yun yung naraan niya. So, yun yung na-experience siya. Ft pi over 4 multiplied to diameter nung sa bolt circle squared. Yun. Yung bolt circle mo, ito ay nasa gitna. Okay? Now, di ba itong Ft is equal yan sa each bolt, force on each, multiplied to number of bolt, divide by pi over 4, diameter ng bolt circle squared. Anong inahanap dyan? The stress area if the load will be proportional. Ang tinatanong kasi dito is ano? Tingnan, tingnan natin kung ano. Stress area ayon AS. Hinahanap natin dito. So, meron tayong binigay dyan on each bolt that is equal to alamin natin dito. Okay? Gaya naman yung stress na uh, meron ka dyan. Force on each bolt. Hanapin natin dito. So, that is yung stress multiplied to pi over 4 multiplied to diameter ng bolt circle squared over yung number of bolts. Tama ba? And number of bolts. N, B. So, the stress na experience niya that is uh, pi over 4 multiplied to 12.5 times uh, ito, kilogram per cm squared multiplied to 508, 508 millimeter. Kaya lang gawin na natin tong cm. There are 1 cm in every 10 millimeter. Square natin over number of the bolts 24. So, ilan yung force on each bolt? The force on each bolt will be pi over 4 uh, okay, multiplied to 12.5 times uh, 508 divided by 10 and then square yung value divided by 24 so the force on each bolt experiencing each bolt is the force that each bolt experiences is equal to 1055.641 anong unit kilograms kasi na cancel yung cm squared mo diyan okay that is the force on each bolt Hindi pa, di pa dyan natatapos, okay? Meron po tayo, meron po tayo dyan na uh, ang hinahanap kasi natin dito, di stress area. Okay? AS is stress area, ayun, naalala ko na. So, by valence, Fe is equal to CAS raised to 1.418. Ang kinukuha natin dito is the stress area. Meron tayo nito, meron tayo nito. Ito ang hinahanap. Okay. Ano ba sinabi material dyan? Manhole cover. 
commonly kapag hindi binigay po yung iyong ano, dito yan, yung C mo, C is pwedeng carbon. Yung isa, brass. Brass ba yun? Yung isa, aluminum. CAS. Binigay ko ba yun? Eh, bronze alloy. Bronze alloy. Nakalimutan ko din. Bronze. Bronze. Alloy. Ngayon, pag hindi po binigay sa problem, if that is carbon, bronze, or alloy, i-assume mo, laging carbon yan. Okay? So, ito na lang hinahanap natin. O, oh, algebra tayo. Pwede nating matanggal yan. So, Fe over C equal to area ng stress raised to 1.418. Ngayon, gagamitan natin to ng logarithmic functions. Okay? So, this is ln. Lagyan natin to ng ln. Ibababa ngayon to. So, ln nung Fe over C equal to 1.418 ln nung area ng stress. Ngayon, divide ko na lang to. Okay? Divide ko both sides by 1.418. Okay. 1 point... <coughs> Sorry. So, uh, ln nung Fe over C divide by 1.418 equal to ln nung area ng stress. Ngayon, para matanggal yung loan dito, erase natin both sides by E. So, AS now will be E raised to ln nung Fe over C divide by 1.418. O, ba diba? Parang algebra lang. Very basic. So, area ng stress is equal to E raised to yung ln. Ano ba yung force on each bolt? 1055.6406. Yan. Okay. Divide by ng value yung C, that is 5,000, divide by 1.418. Okay. Area ng stress there will be in inches squared yan, ha? Matik na yan. So, shift E, tapos dito, okay. delete ko muna to. And delete. So, LN nung uh, 1055.6406 by 5,000 tapos 1.418. The answer will be 0.0. 'Pag okay, nakaano pala to, sorry, meron ako mali dito. Ah, uh, nakakilogram pala to. Yung 1.055 na kilogram yan, dapat ito i-multiply mo nang every kilogram ha para ma-cancel. Eh, kaya nagkakamali ako eh. So ito nakakilogram to. kg. Multiply mo na lang nang 2.205 pound per kg. Okay? Yun na 'yun. Masolve mo na yan. Hindi ko lang na i-multiply. Taas. Times 2.205. The answer is 0.58. 0. Point, mm -hmm. 0.5832 inch squared. Very basic po. And ganun lang po sinasolve yung power screws and bolts. Very basic lang naman yung mga samples dyan. All you gotta do is take time to practice. Okay? That will be all.